Hello guys, it's Misty from Join the Journey and today we are answering your homeschool questions. So today's question comes from Jennifer and Jennifer asks, do you ever feel so behind that you can't take a Christmas break? Life has gotten in the way this year and we are nowhere near where I wanted to be. Oh, Jennifer, girl, I hear you. Um, I have been so tempted to work through Christmas break before and one year we actually tried it. Um, we only took three days off and let me tell you, we paid for it. By mid-January, we were all so ready to throw in the towel and I vowed to never do it again. So please take a Christmas break. You and your kids deserve it. But I also know that Pinterest and social media is going to give you and me a few ideas as to how to fill our Christmas break. So not only am I going to tell you to take a break, I am also going to give you a list of things to do and a list of things not to do while you are on Christmas break. So number one, don't feel guilty. We have all done this. We see other homeschool moms making cute little crafts, celebrating Advent, and baking treats. And we're not doing those things. So guilt sets it. I mean, those things are what good homeschool do moms do, right? Right? No. Listen, you don't have to be some fancy holiday mom to rock the holidays. Kick the guilt to the curb and embrace the mom that you are not the mom that you are comparing yourself to on Facebook or Instagram. So next, don't plan next semester. So the first few years we homeschooled, I spent Christmas break planning out our homeschool for the next semester. And a lot of moms do this. And a lot of bloggers actually recommend doing this. But I am not one of those homeschool moms or bloggers. Um, sorry, my personal opinion is to take your break. And I am not taking a break if I'm planning for next semester. I'm not doing it. So say no to it. Believe me when I tell you that your semester will be planned and you do not have to work throughout your Christmas break. So what I recommend doing is maybe the week before you take a break, the week before you take your Christmas break, plan a few days and do your teacher planning then. I call these teacher and service days. Listen, the public schools do it, private schools do it. They give their teachers a day to plan and guess what? They count it as one of their 180 school days because teachers need time set aside to plan. If they can do it, we can do it. So take a couple days, either before your Christmas break or after your Christmas break. Count them as teacher and service days. Let your kids maybe watch a documentary or an educational TV show or send them away with their other parent or a grandparent for the day and count that day as school and give yourself some time to plan. It does not have to be done during your break because you deserve that break just as much as your kids do. So also, next, don't do that craft just so you can snap a picture and put it on Facebook or Instagram. Um, do it because you want to share that moment with your kids, not because you feel that it is the right thing to do. And don't feel guilty if you don't do this. Don't feel guilty if you don't do that little craft or if you do the activity and you simply just do it to enjoy the moment and being present with your kids. I think that during the holidays we can feel that comparison trap kick in and we really want to do things because everybody else is doing it or we feel that we need to do it and so especially just to share on social media to give everybody that glimpse into our happy perfect life. Um, don't do that because by doing that you're undermining that moment with your kids and you are also maybe making somebody else feel like you have this picture perfect life and that maybe theirs isn't. So do the craft, do the activity because you want to, not because it's going to make a wonderful social media post. There's the end of my rant. So um, homeschool moms are on all the time. So we never ever get a break. So when I say the world will not end if you don't do school through Christmas break, 
believe me, it won't. Um, and you, it will also not end if you say no to those fun crafts and baking treats or other things that the world and social media may be telling us that we need to do. The planning for next semester will happen whether you do it on Christmas break, which you shouldn't do, or if you don't, it will happen at some point. Believe me, just give yourself that time. So what should you do on Christmas break? So um, in my opinion, do what makes you happy. So some things that we normally like to do on Christmas break, and I'm just giving you ideas. I'm not telling you to do these just because I said them, but read. Take the time to read that book that you've maybe not had the chance to read. I'm hoping to catch up on Being Mom Strong from Heidi St. John because I have not had the time to do it. So that is on my Christmas break list. Um, just enjoy your kids. Pop some popcorn and turn on a movie in the middle of the day just because you can. Um, have a pajama day. Um, go and watch, do visit, blah, go to the zoo. Um, look at Christmas lights. Do things that you want to do things that make you happy things that make your kids happy it doesn't have to be what everybody else is doing but do take some time for yourself over christmas break because we are on all the time and we need those moments we need to fill our own cup so we can better serve our children and our homes in the new year and that is not going to happen if we're filling our christmas break with everything that the world or social media tells us we need to be doing we need to do things that will fill us up and not weigh us down and make us feel more burdened or even have guilt. So that's my um, personal opinion on that. So um, are you ready for Christmas break? Um, I know that I am. So how long should you take your, how long should your Christmas break be? Um, I recommend a minimum of two weeks. Preferably, we love to take off from Thanksgiving until the first of the year. Now we don't always get to do that. This year we're not going to be able to do that. Um, but we feel the most rested whenever we do take that whole time off from Thanksgiving until the first of the year. But a minimum of two weeks. Um, that gives you a week of the holiday madness and then it gives you a week to just enjoy the season and to enjoy your break. So um, that is it. That is what I have for you today. If you enjoyed this homeschool question and answer session, then be sure that you, that you subscribe um, to my channel via YouTube or follow the page on Facebook. Um, I'm hoping to do some of these Q&A videos every Tuesday. And if you have a question that you would like me to answer, then leave it in the comments. Shoot me a PM on Facebook or send me an email, misty at joyinthejourney.net, and I will get your question answered, hopefully. So um, that is it. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you allow yourself to have a more joyful homeschool in the new year. Thanks, guys.